Hi folks, so it's, we're looking at the resurrection of Christ and we're looking at the next part which is um, that Jesus Christ was seen by um, eyewitness people, eyewitness accounts. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 7 is a key piece of historical evidence. It was written about AD 55 but the source of information goes back to as early as AD 33. Most girls agree that this is an early historical source of what the church believe about sorry, the resurrection of Christ. Now brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and on which you have taken your stand by this gospel you were saved, if you hold firmly to what I preached to you, otherwise you had believed in vain. For what I received I passed on to as first importance that Christ died for our sin according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, that he appeared Peter and that to Peter then to the twelve, and after that he appeared to more than five hundred of the brothers at the same time, most of whom have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me also as to one born out of due time, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1-7. Now most scholars agree it is a fact that the early church saw visions of Jesus Christ after his death. Not even the skeptics dispute this. Now this early historical source says that many people witnessed Jesus had resurrected. The problem with the vision hypothesis is you have too many people in too many places to fit into a psychological theory. Also, the Apostle Paul was a Pharisee who believed in the resurrection. He and the Jews knew the difference between an illusion, vision and resurrection. The early church testified unanimously they saw a resurrected Christ. They were very clear about this. That which was from the beginning which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at with our hands, have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared and we have seen it and testified to it and we proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that also many have we may have fellowship you may have fellowship with us and our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son Jesus Christ. We write this to, to make your joy complete. 1 John chapter 1 verse 1 to 3. So uh, the argument there is this, is that anybody who comes along and says, look, Jesus didn't rise from the dead because it was an illusion. You know, the, the disciples saw an illusion. The answer to that is they were Jewish people and Jewish people only believed in a resurrection. All right, They knew the difference between an illusion and a resurrection. Paul was a Pharisee, for example. So, in other words, they were very clear on what they saw they said they saw a resurrected Christ now uh, you might say well how do we know that's eyewitness accounts well, there are little clues within the Gospels where there's little bits of information which give it away that these people were eyewitnesses um, and if you pay close attention to the Gospel text you will find these little clues uh, if you want more information on that, go to the four lectures at Southern Baptist Theological Seminary by Dr. Balcom on the historicity of the Gospels uh, for more details about that. Okay, so we'll leave it at there and we'll um, look at this in more detail now.